Hey there, Scorpio. It's me, Lex. I'm here to do a random love reading because I felt the need to do so. If you have not already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I do post new content. Please keep in mind that this channel is specifically catered to those with the sign of Scorpio in their chart and cross watchers, okay? Um, if you're looking for readings that highlights other signs, please subscribe to Prophetic Lex. That is my main channel. And I have all of the signs with... Um, Lots of other content over there I feel you enjoy, but over here, it is specifically for Scorpio. Um, one quick announcement. Um, this month's community working is a prosperity working. So if you are interested in getting part of that, getting being a part of that, it is for health, wealth, abundance, and um, also could be for fertility. If that is what you're interested in, it's, it's you know, specific to your need. Um, please visit Prophetic Lex in the community tab and sign up for that. You have until April the 15th to do so. All right. So I'm going to go through these cards in the order in which they were pulled and then rearrange to clarify if it's necessary. OK, Scorpio. So we have the five of fire. We have the four of air. Nine of water. Knight of fire. Six of fire and life experience. Now I want to pull an angel answer oracle to crown the overall energy here. Overall energy for Scorpios. Energy for Scorpios related to this reading. We have big happy changes. Okay. All right. And although this is intended to be a love reading, you can apply it to whatever other big happy changes are occurring in your life. OK, so. All right, Scorpio, I feel that um, there's a lot of ideas that you have. It says competing goals bother some conflict with others. You could have had um, maybe a misunderstanding with someone. This could be um, conflict within yourself as far as what you really want in a relationship, in a partnership, in a career, what have you. Um, but really like making moves, okay, and clearing out what doesn't make sense, what doesn't serve you, okay, you um, may need to step back from the situation because if you do too much at once, it can overwhelm you, especially mentally, but it does say rest, allow more time before making a decision, uh, possibly take a vacation, a staycation, a vacation, Meditation will provide answers, but with this tower or life experience, the revelation that is going to occur here is going to be very powerful, very significant. It's going to be a complete 180 from where you are now. OK, if you're worried about the state of your relationship, do not. Your person is going to turn things around. You're going to be able to turn things around together. If you are worried about the state of your finances, don't because something is about to open up for you. This um, in the traditional tarot, the tower usually depicts like this, this building or this tower and there's lightning striking and things come, you know, the tower actually like crumbling and cracking and like a person leaping from the building. But here I feel that the tower moment has already happened. Because on this particular picture, if you see, this is more of a, a figurative or a spiritual type of rebuilding. I feel that this tower is being rebuilt. Traditionally, it, it shows the tarot shows the tower coming down. This one, I see that this is possibly the, the idea or the blueprint that's starting to come to fruition. You see the sun coming over the horizon. You see the flowers blossoming. That is abundance. That is growth. This angel is protecting it. You are protected. Whatever this, your, this tower represents for you, it's growing and it's going to be huge. It's going to be strong. Your wishes are coming true. Concerns fade away. Good news, public recognition. I feel that um, for those of my lovers out there, your person is going to make some sort of grand gesture to um, let you know that they do love and care for you, that they appreciate you. You may be getting a public uh, uh, proposal. For those who are not yet married. 
stick it to my arm. <laughs> okay, let's get some clarifiers here. I have the Emperor, Page of Pentacles, and the uh, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, again, new starts, new beginnings could possibly be within um, Earth sign. One of you could be um, younger or older because this represents an, an, a mature individual that's older. So there could be an age gap between the two of you. Okay, um, but nonetheless, there is going to be a substantial message coming in, something tangible a message of an asset you may um, with your joining or your union or your partnership discover that you've gained, you may go into business for one another. Okay. I do feel that your partner is very wise. I feel that they are very smart. I feel that they can offer you a lot of advice. Okay. If you are starting a business or you working on a business, I feel that they are willing and able to help you very much. And that, your hard work is going to be paying off soon. All right. Big happy changes for you guys. All right. So I'm going to pull some romance angel oracles here. Okay. What love advice do we have for Scorpio? Love advice for Scorpio. Love advice for Scorpio. So weird. I'm about to tell you why. I have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so that's what I was saying. If, if you have issues with your business, I do feel that your partner is able to offer some sort of support. It may be financial support. They may uh, want to be a silent investor, okay, or partner up with you to kind of uh, keep things afloat or to get things started, but they will be there for you. All right. Now I have this, this shit here, and I'm going to say this shit here because if y'all been watching the videos, you, we keep pulling this reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false mask and we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Now, as the common theme and the ongoing theme has been amongst my Scorpio readings, an ex is trying to come back to play you because they see you glowing. They see you shining. They see you rising up and you were taking care of yourself. And so you are looking good to them. Like, you know what, Scorpio look good. Let me go see what Scorpio doing. Oh, Scorpio, I miss you. I'm sorry. I love you. And all this other crap. Now, on the flip side, I'm going to pull some clarifiers here. How does this relate to your current situation? How does this relate to your current situation? I have judgment and ten of pentacles. It's to choose stability. Your advice as as this, the reconciliation, deception, love yourself first relates to your current situation. It's to choose the stability. Your ex probably knows how to do some things to you that nobody else has ever done. They probably are the finest mofos you've ever been with. To you anyway. But I feel like they can't offer you what you're looking for. And that is that is stability. OK, it does say wait. OK, before making any moves, wait. People tend to show you who they are in time. OK. I have remained positive. And what else? Would no, wait again. OK, so don't make any decisions as it relates to any excess. Wait, remain positive, but watch what they do. They Their true um, intentions will reveal themselves in due time. All right. So to tie all of this up, I'm going to pull a Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle message. And we're going to call this, we're going to wrap this reading up, Scorpio. And I just want to clarify one thing. When I say choose stability, I'm not saying choose somebody just because they got money and they can take care of you. Stability also comes with emotional stability. It comes with mental mental stability. Who is actually showing up for you? Who is actually there? Who is actually putting forth the effort 
That is what builds a stable foundation for a romantic relationship, not always about money. So I I do want to clarify that because a lot of times people misconstrue stability with finances. And yes, you know, the right type of financial management can offer financial stability, but there's way more to a relationship than just money and, and things. Okay. As you can look at some of these celebrities and you can tell they going through hell and they got all kind of money. Okay. It ain't always about that. I did want to, I felt the need to clarify that. Because I, I can hear my Scorpios. Now, money ain't everything. I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about who actually who actually being what you need them to be. That's who you need to choose. All right. So to tie all of this up. I don't like that. I don't like that. That don't fit the reader. What? Okay, we got it. All right, so to clear all of this up, we have risk, okay? What type of risk are you taking by jumping into this business? What type of risk are you taking by jumping into certain relationships? Is it worth is the risk worth the reward? Is the reward worth the risk? Okay. Is the person worth you sacrificing yourself and, and, and risking your, maybe your money, your stability, your sanity, your feelings? Okay. Has self-worth. Okay. We already said love yourself first because that's why they come and sniffing around. It's because you're taking care of yourself. You're looking good and you're feeling good. Is being with them going to risk your self-worth? Is it going to complicate or uh, negate your self-worth by being with them? Because we do have the moon. And with the moon, we know that um, this represents illusions, things that are being hidden, things that are not always revealed, that deception, wearing that mask, okay? But the moon moves in cycles. So the new moon is dark. We can't see it. But as it comes around full circle and it comes to full, it's fully illuminated and you can see clearly and see brightly. So that's why I said wait to make sure that their true intentions and motives are being revealed before you go risking it all for them again. OK, that is your reading, Scorpio. If this resonates with you, give me a thumbs up, comment, share it with the fellow Scorpio you feel needs to hear a message. I'm hoping we'll get a different daggone um, some love messages, but it keeps, like I said, showing up this 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 person reconciling with you and coming from your past. So watch out for that. Um, and again, like I said, subscribe Scorpios Cross Watchers. Um, if you're looking for other videos with other placements and just different um, like motivational type and Oracle messages, I try to do an Oracle message or a, a general reading and, you know, for the collective at least once a week, I did do an Oracle message yesterday as a short on Prophetic Lex, but all of my postings, announcements, and sales are over in the community tab over there. Share it with your fellow Scorpios. Let them know I'm over here. I try to um, trying to collaborate with some others, you know, specifically Scorpio readers because we are a force, okay? And we got to stick together, Scorpios. So until next time, I, oh, community working. Sign up for the community working on Prophetic Lex in the community tab. Um, I'll post the link in the comments to this video as well, okay? And so till next time, Scorpios, I love you. Take care.